to the nightly news show with Vacant, the only nightly news show that doesn't happen every night. Let's dive right into the first piece of news. It is the Xbox Game Pass for PC. The subscription price will double from $5 to $10 starting on the 17th, but if you get a membership before the 17th, you will not pay $10, you will pay $5 until your month runs out and if you get a year for the five dollar price well a year is not five dollars but it will you know be like five times twelve and you will get that price instead of having it be like a hundred and twenty dollars because it's ten dollars a month instead of five so right now if you use game pass i would buy a year right now if you use it a lot and that way you don't have to worry about the price increase until next year in september the next story is a cool one but the coolness just kind of disappears because they ruin it how much do you really want to play far cry in vr now don't even answer that question because i know most of you will say man vr and far cry would probably be a cool experience well they're bringing a far cry 3 vr experience starting next year in 2021 so you're going to be able to play their vr experience it's not going to be far cry 3 it is a far cry vr dive into ex insanity which will be able to experience uh, a spin-off of far cry 3 so the main villain vast vast am i even saying his name right he will be in the game with updated graphics and it will be a vr game that you will be able to play with up to seven friends unfortunately you can't buy the game you'll be be able to only exclusively play it at zero latency a vr arcade chain that has nine locations across the u.s now i'm now listen to that there's nine locations across across the US there's 50 states and the chances of you playing this game are probably slim not only do you have to go to a VR arcade to play the game and you'll have to bring friends along with you it'll probably be a cool experience if you do get to experience it but not only that there's only nine locations to experience the game so I feel like this game was already a missed opportunity i don't think it's going to be doing very well but i think the people that do get to experience it are going to have a good time and the next story is a story that has no coolness ninja returns to twitch he has an exclusive multi-year deal with twitch hopefully um well i was gonna say hopefully he don't but you know uh, uh, at this point who really cares uh maybe twitch will just toss him out like they tossed out doc but um i think the only reason they they got that multi-year deal is because ever since doc left on twitch their gaming section their views have been going down all right if you look at the numbers the music in just chatting has actually been going up whereas gaming related stuff has been going down so maybe ninja can get their views back up but i doubt it because he couldn't even him and shroud couldn't even keep mixer alive so i mean who really watches ninja anyway the next story is the call of duty black ops cold war multiplayer reveal trailer has released and in my opinion it looked pretty good it looked pretty cool some of the um leaks of the gameplay didn't really look that good but this trailer looked really good but does that say much most of the call of duty trailers for the most part do look good but in this trailer in multiplayer you actually get to see tanks, gunboats, motorcycles, um, quads, and other vehicles. And, and I don't know, it kind of looked like Battlefield to me, honestly, which, you know, I don't have a problem with. Battlefield, it kind of reminds me of, like, an updated version of Battlefield 4, which, in my eyes, is pretty cool. And then we got the next one. Someone leaked uh, some information about the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. And Microsoft was like, hold on a minute. We don't want you leaking it. So we're just going to put out the information ourselves. And the Xbox Series S is a, basically a smaller, slim version of the Xbox Series X, which has less storage. And I'm assuming the specs are also a little worse. But it is... $300, whereas Xbox Series X 
is $500, which both of them have great prices if you live in the United States. But uh, there was a picture going around that in India, the console, the Xbox Series X, actually cost like almost $700. So uh, I guess the price is only good if you live in like... Uh, America and the UK, if you live anywhere else, the prices just get just, you know, just way, just a huge price increase. Not really sure what's happening there, but um, Xbox is definitely here at least. it's The prices are good. Its specs are good. They got the Game Pass, which speaking of the Game Pass, EA Play just... Uh, is part of Game Pass now. So EA Play and Xbox Game Pass are now combined together. So when you get Xbox Game Pass, you also get EA Play. But, but, EA Play was $5, right? And Xbox Game Pass used to be $5. But now, uh, they kind of combined. And, you know, Xbox just increased their Game Pass price. Now, don't get me wrong, $10 is still worth it. But isn't it kind of funny that EA kind of joins them and then the price increases? All right, and this will make some of you, this next story will make some of you kind of upset. Um, kind of, some it'll, it'll kind of make you, like, upset, but, like kind of happy at the same time sam fisher is in rainbow six siege now so if you want to play as sam fisher the you know the guy from uh splinter cell games you guys can play as him in rainbow six siege but uh this is just my opinion i honestly could care less i want a new splinter cell game okay why are we not getting a new splinter cell game i want one i want to play one there's some of the coolest stealth games and you know they just don't exist anymore but i'm sure if there was one you know that they made if they were making one i'm i'm just i'm sure somehow they would mess it up and maybe that's why they haven't made one yet and I know some of you will be like, well, Blacklist is the reason why they don't make another one because that game wasn't that good and it didn't do that well. But me personally, I got to be honest here, I enjoyed Splinter Cell Blacklist, okay? I'm just, my opinion. And last but not least, but definitely one of the most crazy stories that we have right now is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition will be getting a free next-gen upgrade, which is crazy. So if you already own The Witcher 3 Complete Edition or The Witcher 3, you will get the upgraded next-gen upgrade for free, all right, on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox. And I, I thought that was it. I thought Xbox and PlayStation 5 were going to get it. But they're also doing it on PC too. So no matter what system you're on, whether you're on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, which most people own Witcher, to be honest, you will get the free next-gen upgrade. And may I just say, that is so much money that they could have been making because you know for a fact people would buy that game again. Some people... What not only would say it's worth it to buy it again, but would buy it again. And, you know, I never personally played through the game, like, in its entirety. I have played it, but I've never beat it or played that much of it, so I can't really comment on the game itself. But I know this will make every single Witcher fan and CD Projekt Red fan happy. And they're also doing this with Cyberpunk too. So if you buy Cyberpunk on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, or P well, I guess PC really doesn't matter because it's not like you're, you, you know, it's not like if you buy a new PC, the game's not going to be on Steam or something. But if you buy it on Xbox One or PlayStation 4, you will get the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X version upgrade for free and then you got companies like ea and activision where you know if you buy their games you either have to spend 70 dollars like in call of duty you have to spend 70 dollars to get the version that you want now and the next gen upgrade uh unless you just want to buy the next gen version which is 70 dollars um, and then you got games like Madden and stuff where you won't get a free upgrade. You also have to buy the game again. So, you know, look at those companies and look at this company. 
I wonder which company actually cares about its customers. Anyways, that's all I have for this episode of the Nightly News. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys think about these stories and this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because you want to be subscribed. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.